supposedly. Not sure if we are live. <laughs> are we live now? Uh, can you hear my voice? Hi. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, let me get used to the setup here. It's not the setup, whatever you want to say. It. Guess can I can I just cut this part of the live stream? <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, do we have anyone watching right now? Um, not sure. I don't think there's anyone in the live stream. I mean, live chat. Uh, but there's like seven concurrent viewers here. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, can you hear my voice? <laughs> hey, okay, hey, hey. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Um, I don't know. Um, usually, I don't have any reason to start a live stream. That's why I kind of used Apple Event as a reason to start a live stream and chat with you guys. Basically, I don't know. Like, I I don't know. I'm just here to talk with you guys. If you have anything to say, uh, anything to discuss, then just put it on the live chat. Then we can just talk a little bit more about it. <laughs> you know, right? um yeah are you am i alone no uh i have my brothers like not brother but brother <laughs> wait this is not focusing on me okay this is focusing on me now okay so uh yeah this room is uh, i have a brother inside this room and my parents are on the next next room please shout out hey bit <laughs> i don't know how to say your name bamboo in tech am i saying it right anyway Hey, <laughs> hey everyone! Uh, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, Quan Popo, Fabris, Lewis. I hope you're. I hope I'm. I really hope I'm saying your names right. Alex, who've been joining the live chat. I mean, who've been chatting with me in the live chat since I don't know, like a half an hour ago. And then, uh, yeah, Ron Garcia. Also, thank you so much. <laughs> I think uh, I'm gonna. It's not detecting my face. Gonna put this on the other mode. Let's see if this works. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully this works now. Uh, actually, you know what? Sorry for the armpit view. <laughs> hey. Uh. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. I. I. I'm really glad my reviews are very helpful to you guys. Um. Yeah, it's just like um, every time I help someone, I feel not accomplished, but I mean, I feel good, you know, <laughs> because like, but before you say that you like your purchase, I always say like, okay, like uh, try this one, try this one. And then you be like, okay, I'll try this one. And I worry myself to death. Because I uh, I don't know if you'll like it or not. <laughs> and then after you tried it and then you liked it, that's when, you know, like it all comes back. Uh, I'm really happy for what I did. <laughs> anyway, um, but live review, I'm not reviewing it at the moment. Uh, it's like it's a bit later this month. So I'm currently working on this one. Uh, it's an okay earbuds. It's from Tribit. This one, Tribit Flybuds NC. Uh, so yeah, a couple of ANC stuff actually. Uh, before it was Transmart Polo Bolt, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, not here. I think my mom just put the live stream on this TV instead of his her TV. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I've been trying to review ANC earbuds, starting with Transmart Polo Bolt, then this Tribit Flybuds NC. And then after that, should be the Galaxy Buds Live, even though I don't count it as ANC earbuds. It's just the ANC is just there for for being there. <laughs> and um, this one, this one is what I'm using right now. I love it so much. Yes, this does look like uh, an Edifier NB2. And this one is like not a brother, but like a, a twin to it. And because that's because like Irfan told me that they are working together with Edifier. This one is actually tuned by Edifier. So 
uh, both of these companies, Irfan and Edifier, they both release the same stuff um, with a couple of different things here and there. Edifier has game mode, this one doesn't, but this one comes cheaper. But it still has the same great ANC inside and uh, I, I just can't wait to talk about this one later, mid-October. I don't know if this is mid-October already, so I'll try to work on this really fast. This one is really good. I'm using it right now. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, what was I talking about? Okay, so uh, I can't add a stream marker from now on. Okay, if you have a question, right, just put it in the comments first. Like, put a couple of them. I'll pick and try to discuss on those comments. And then, um, yeah, let's hopefully I can do it in like quite a systematic manner uh, so that the stream will be easier to watch later on. Okay. So, um, yeah, for now, let's just talk whatever first. Like, we gather some questions, okay? All right, so um, next question. I hope this pandemic will end very soon. Yeah, hopefully. I really hope. I, I think everyone in the world will hope so. <laughs> and uh, you're curious to know when are you going to do giveaways? No, this one, right? Um... At the moment, I don't think I will be able to do any more giveaways for this year. Uh, first of all, sorry if you're hoping for any giveaways, but uh, yeah, it's just hopefully in the future, I'll do another giveaway. <laughs> um, okay. Next, excited to see if the leak price for iPhone lineup are real. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I don't see the leaks. Oops, sorry for this mess. Uh, I don't keep up with the leaks myself because I'm not really like, you know, I want to keep the excitement up, even though I'm not really excited or anything. It's just, sorry about that. Wait a second. Um. So yeah, I don't usually keep up with the rumors these days anymore because I'm busy working on videos. <laughs> That's one of the reasons, but um, yeah. How much was the price, the leaked rumors, rumored price of the iPhone again? I heard it's like $699 or something, right? How much was the iPhone SE again? $399? $499? Hmm. But one thing I do hope for this year's iPhone, they all come basic with 128 gigs of storage because that will be awesome. <laughs> Finding some guy I might beat in an arm wrestling contest. <laughs> I think I'm fine. I haven't worked out in ages. Um, I've been becoming a meat back more and more <laughs> each coming day. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, Paul Marshall, please tell me which one is better. Sound Pete's SE. SE. Oh, this one is the original SE or 3SE. Uh, in my opinion, right, uh, if the price is not that much different, then go with the 3SE. Just It's a really good earbud. Uh, I mean, like, I think everyone will like it. It's just, it doesn't have any, like, apparent flaw. Whereas on the Soundpits SE, true engine SE, I never tried it, but I think I've heard someone saying... It's quite bass heavy, so yeah, I, I don't know if I would recommend something bass heavy to most people, honestly. <gasps> Francisca, thank you so much. I, uh, I've, I've sent you my good night. <laughs> Francisca is my, for those of you who haven't known, Francisca is my girlfriend. Say hi to her if you want. <laughs> thank you for coming. Anyway, Rafi Amandio, I hope. I'm saying your names right, okay? Please forgive me. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I am glad you liked the content that I've been putting out. Also, I need to know about the Halo GT1 Pro. How many hours in a charge? The earbuds last about four hours. Um, GT1 Pro, yeah? The earbuds last about four, out, four hours on 50% volume and the case. It basically takes it for up to two weeks. Uh, it's that strong. Like the case has 800 milliamp hour battery inside and it's not that big. So it's cool to see that. 
Okay. <laughs> hey, spending 400 like nothing. I uh, I don't think no one spent 400 like it's nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Even me trying to get like, you know, um, an earbuds for me to review myself. Let's say the earbuds is like Feel T1 Pro or T1 XS. It costs like almost a hundred bucks, right? And then it's like, I need to save up for that. <laughs> like that's the situation that I'm at right now. Anyway, <laughs> I know, right? She's so cute. She's just so cute. Okay. Um, so far, I don't think there's any like, like big topic for me to cover. So mm -mm, it's okay. I think we'll just keep talking then. <laughs> anyway, uh, I put this two stuff in the side of my stream. And this basically is for a second. Can I pull it down? Okay. So, and this basically, I hopefully this Mac rumors live, it's a live tweet. Hopefully they are live tweeting the Apple event later. Uh, and hopefully this browser snippet will update by itself. Not sure, but if it doesn't work, then, you know, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just throw it away. Um, but as always, you know, um, I'll try to keep you guys updated with what I'm watching right now. I won't be f like giving you any of Apple's live stream here because for my past live streams, I've been like copyright claimed. And then, um, uh, also there's the other one I I've been copy striked or something like that. So I got a strike, but then it turns out it was somebody flagged or reported my stream as inappropriate but there's nothing inappropriate it's just me sitting here and talking to you guys so i really don't know why but yeah um i just don't want to take the risk anymore just try if you want to watch the stream you go and watch it by yourself and then if you have an extra device then you know you can watch and uh i mean uh we can just talk together in this live stream <laughs> Yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Oh, you can retract messages here because I've... Oh, uh, yeah. Because in the chat, you know, I make grammar mistakes all the time. And I'm sometimes I'm so shy about it. <laughs> okay, Paul Marshall. And hey, uh, welcome to the channel. <laughs> um, you have no idea how many friends I have suggested your channel to. Thank you so much, Paul. Um... It means a lot to me, seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, please review product from Joy Room. I know, right? So this thing, Joy Room. I don't know. It's not really that available in my country, or maybe I haven't, you know, meet cross paths with it. <laughs> so I'll try to uh, keep tabs on it. See if I can review any of their products. Um, Ming Wei Yang, hey. Can you show us the live stream? Yeah, I talked about this. So unfortunately, I am not able. Let me add a stream marker first. Okay, so yeah. Um, basically, let's talk about the live stream one more time so that you guys will understand. I will not put any live stream here or the audio nor the video. So it's just basically plain me like watching <laughs> and then taking a look at the comments. So. Uh, and you know reacting to the stream so it might not be like as you expected but I've gone through some really bad stuff before because I put my live stream because I put Apple's live stream here so uh, I don't want to go through that anymore um, and if I do recommend you watch the live stream by yourselves and then if you have an extra device then please you can I mean, you're welcome here <laughs> and we can talk together about the live stream. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's get back to the comment section. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm hoping to get a full VR system come Cyber Monday. <gasps> you are getting a VR system like an Oculus Rift or something like that? That's awesome. <laughs> That's like kind of my dream, you know, I, I want, I really want to try a VR game. 
um, you know, back in those days when VR headsets are only Oculus Rift, like the or original one, and also the uh, HTC Vive, right? I, I don't know. It looks so cool to me. Um, I want to play some games on it, probably like the shooting ones or the cooking ones. That also looks really fun. Or, you know, it. I love music rhythm games, and although I cannot move very well, I mean, I'm a pretty much basically a meat bag right now i would love to try beat saber <laughs> okay um do you sell your product after you review it yes um nowadays i do sell my product uh i mean i do sell my earbuds if i really don't i know i really won't touch this earbud anymore so i sell them and that money i will put it to buy another earbuds that are usually more expensive like the galaxy buds plus i bought it by myself and uh, the money comes from basically all the other earbuds, like the cheaper KZs that I don't use anymore. And uh, I just sell them off, then get something you know more expensive to review. That's basically how I do it. Oh, smart, <laughs> smart dev. Okay, um, yeah. So let's see, what else can I? Uh, Francisca, don't leave your boyfriend, please. <laughs> I thank you. Anyway, can I review Realme Bud Air Pro? Oh, there's a new Realme Bud Air Pro. You guys want to see it? Because I can, you know, take a look at it. Let's see here. I need to make this bigger. Okay, is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. All right, put it in the center. One second. Uh, center to screen. Good. Okay. So let's see Realme Buds Air Pro. Is that it? Realme Buds Air Pro. Hmm. But the thing is, I don't think it is available in my country. Yeah. I don't think it is available in my country. Let's see. Uh, four forty-five hundred rupees. E I N R. 900,061 bucks. Hmm. Okay. 60 bucks. It seems like all the ANC earbuds that are cropping up uh, nowadays are priced at, you know, 60 to 100 bucks usually. And they're claiming up to 35 decibels. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, let me put another stream marker here. <laughs> so, Realme Buds Air Pro. 94 milliseconds, super low latency. So, it seems like it is better improved from the lower latency, like the their lower latency claim before. It was 119 or something. So, wow. That's cool. So, ANC game mode all together in just 60 bucks. I think we've got ourselves a winner there. By the way, we can see here 10 millimeter base boost driver. Uh, that will most likely uh, give it a pretty bassy sound. That's kind of like the theme uh, Realme is going at. Sorry for it. <coughs> ah, it's kind of dry here. Okay, so let's see. Transparency mode. Oh, so it's not R1 chip anymore, it's S1 now. So that's why the latency is kind of like lower down. So yeah, cool. Um, I'll see if I can try it out. I'll, I'm actually pretty curious right now. Uh, it should be a pretty good product, but it's very new and for um, like brands like this, Realme, Xiaomi, whenever they use like this kind of first sale, flash sale, <laughs> It's so hard to say this flash sale thing it's gonna be very very hard extremely hard to get and there you go it's only AAC but that's understandable completely understandable and there are still going on with this cobble shape thing so wow yeah it's fine oh uh, one thing I um, one thing I want to know is the okay where detection is also here as well cool uh, how much will it last? IPX4, Realme Link app, uh, volume enhancer, base boost. There's no volume control usually in the app here. 
Hmm, let's see how much, how long of a play time. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Five hours of playback time at 50%. That's good. With noise cancellation on. Nice. Six hours with noise cancellation off. That's really, like, that's really nice now because uh, from the Realme Buds Air Neo, it only lasted two and a half hour, which is just plain bad. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, okay, I'm pretty lost in the comment section here. Let me see what else did I miss. <laughs> oh, you loved Beat Saber. You've played Beat Saber. That's nice. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um. Okay, what else, what else? <laughs> oh, by the way, my girlfriend... Um, I think she'll start a YouTube channel later on, <laughs> so but not now. Okay, I swear Beat Saber is the only reason I saved a thousand five hundred bucks. Oh, <laughs> I know, right? Oh, man, I'm waiting for you to review this earbuds. Oh yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Um, I hope everyone does not have experience with coronavirus as well. I hope everyone will stay healthy, okay? So, um, uh, oh, okay, next is, what do I think of the Moto G8 power? I actually don't, like, I'm not really updated on uh, usually budget phones, but let's see, Moto G8 power. Uh, I hope I spelled that right, okay, yeah. Oops, go. By the way, um. If my keyboard is pretty noisy, I'm sorry. Just let me know. I'll switch to my laptop's keyboard. <laughs> uh, Moto G8 Pro. And let me add another stream marker. Is that it? You mean, oh, sorry, power. Let's see the full phone specs or this one. I guess this one would be better. So, Wow, it looks good, yeah. I mean, Motorola has been one of those manufacturers that I admired because they tried to be different, um, but I never had the chance to get and try any of their phones because they're not that available in my country. But yeah, wow, 170 bucks, four gig, 64, 60 megapixel camera, oh man, it's all right, I mean, yeah. And a lot of cameras there. <laughs> cool. And Snapdragon 665. So usually when I see like a phone, I always like, you know, just look for this chip, what chip they use. And let's see, Snapdragon 665. Let's see if this like, this one has like a big little course or it's only like the little course. We'll see here. Um, um, performance, performance, CPU clock speed. Okay, Cryo 260 CPU octa core up to two gigahertz. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really, I don't really understand this Cryo 260 CPU. I think they used it on like Snapdragon 835 or something like that, right? But nowadays they just use the ARM chips. Uh, by the way, do you guys, you know, um, usually interested in these stuff as well <laughs> because when i look at something i try to look more into the chip like what works behind the product itself uh, i'm more interested in that stuff so yeah that's um that's what i watch and look every day <laughs> okay uh let's see the Let's get back to the live chat again, yeah? Uh, hey, okay, I'm pretty behind here, but I'll try to catch up. First, Burhan, thank you so much. Um, I hope you're liking your first pair of True Wild Earbuds. And Jana Dionisio, hey, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> we still have 30 more minutes to the Apple live stream. Good thing that I actually started at 11 o'clock, not, I mean, 11 o'clock, plus seven from London. It's, I mean, Indonesian time. <laughs> um, 
just as usual by the way where do you guys i mean where where are you guys watching from let me know down let me know down let me <laughs> i've said too much in the video let me know in the live chat um yeah see which part of the world you're from <laughs> because in asia watching apple events has been it's hard to say the least because uh when i was in china i had to wait until one midnight until three um and in indonesia it's actually a little bit better now <laughs> 12 until 2 uh, midnight so that's good okay so paul marshall after watching your video i'm obsessed with soundpeats 3 se but it isn't available in india unfortunately yeah I haven't tried the SE yet though that's the thing so I don't know if I can recommend that as well oh by the way Nehan Evencio hey thank you so much for coming <laughs> uh, Vast 7 Gaming what computer are you using right now I'm using a MacBook Pro 16 inch uh, base model the one with 5300M graphics card and you know i7 I think like 4 cores 8 threads they're fine uh, I uh, I don't use it for to edit 4K videos because my camera, Canon M50, they don't shoot 4K videos with good autofocus that is. So I'm just like keeping this laptop as a way. Let's say like I use it a lot for multi-cam videos and uh, actually I edit my videos without rendering on it. So <laughs> yeah, it's just like I just brute force my way through the clips. Um... Oh, hey, <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, I mean, late to the Fallout has played Fortnite, I guess, but yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, good to have a chat with you guys, seriously. <laughs> okay, Redmi Air, Buds Air Neo at 27 USD. Here, Redmi Buds Air Neo is only last two and a half hours, but it's good. The sound quality approved for below 30 bucks i think it's one of the best and um it has gaming mode as well so if you can live with that two hours and 30 minutes battery life go for it if you don't then don't <laughs> okay next ruiz coro can i can you recommend which one i get black or white on the realme but air pro uh, i mean it depends on you for me personally i think i would get black one <laughs> okay flame uh, it's retracted burhan kenneth is there any true wise earbuds which you still have maximum media playback volume while you're on call no unfortunately this is controlled inside the phone so every phone will have the same system that is if you have a phone call the media playback will be reduced okay wahyu prasojo mata jehvan jovandi hey and oh wow you're from the usa seriously cool and we've got ourselves some people from plus six two as well that's indonesia <laughs> okay hey thank you so much actually for coming stopping by all of you indonesians here and for everyone else too okay from philippines ah love philippines <laughs> okay borhan oh there's another question from borhan here is it just a bluetooth headset thing oh oh because you don't have this problem with your wired headset plus dongle oh, oh like a modern phone i don't know but maybe it's a bluetooth headset thing then if it doesn't occur on wired earphones with dongle <laughs> Okay, um, I love that Soundpeats is getting the recognition it deserves. Oh, of course, yeah. I think, but I mean, Soundpeats has been one of the more popular brand, no? If you watch GameSky or GameSky, um, that's one of the first channels that I tried to watch before starting my channel, I guess. <laughs> and um, yeah, he's been covering Soundpeats a lot. And I kind of envy him sometimes because he just gets all those like Soundpeats products or any new products um i think but he bought those products by himself um 
sometime and some other time it will be sponsored but sound pete hasn't been one that wants to sponsor me much it's like uh i the 3se right i bought it by myself and probably oh oh but the h1 the h1 they are sponsoring me so um yeah but there is uh an issue a little bit of an issue so i got the box but not the product I don't know if I'm, uh, I I don't know if I can disclose this, but yeah, it's just like look forward for my Soundpeats H1 review very very soon. Hopefully, if I have time, I I don't know like should I review like after I finish all these ANC earbuds, hopefully I can just review the H1 straight away. Okay, okay, what else? Why don't you use what one of any Truas earbuds that you had review? Why don't I use? I use it all the time. Um, but, and my current favorite is the Galaxy Buds Plus. And then this Earfront Air Pro, it looks like Edifier MB2 again, but it's just as amazing for less, which is crazy good. And um, what else? Okay, moving on. Oh my, it's been so long since the last time I watched your live videos. <laughs> yeah thank you so much um it's been a while since i live streamed i mean the last time was september but that one was like whatever <laughs> okay what is my favorite wired earphone um unfortunately i don't use wired earphones since forever i'm sorry <laughs> so i cannot compare uh any of the truas earbuds that i have to any wired earphones because i'm just um, i mean Ever since, like, I can remember, I hated cables. That's why I always try to buy Bluetooth earphones. And now that we have, like, earphones that doesn't have any cable at all, I mean, it's just, I just love it instantly. <laughs> okay, hey, uh, we have some from USA here, yeah? <laughs> Hopefully you guys are doing fine there. Hopefully. Um... And are you gonna be? Oh, <laughs> you're gonna be. Are you gonna review Aki Two Wireless Earbuds series? Ah, that's also one of the, like, more, like, higher up in my list. Aki Anchor, and also like some other you know more established options like Jabra Seventy Five T. Um, what else? I've reviewed the Galaxy Buds, so maybe AirPods Pro. Um, I think I've you know talked enough about the or AirPods second generation already, and it's actually my girlfriend's. <laughs> um, but yes, oh Sony, the Sony XM3s. Is it called XM3s? Anyway, X. No, I don't think it's XM3s. XM3s is the headphones, right? And also, um, oh yeah, here there's another one. U3 MS. Please help me. Which one's better, uh, GT1 Pro or GT1 Plus? Okay, first of all, shout out to all you guys from Malaysia. Um, GT1 Pro versus GT1 Plus. I would, uh, currently, I would suggest you to avoid all the GT1 original, GT1 Pro, and the GT2 or the GT2S. I think like they've put like a lid on it and then call it the day, GT2S. Um, because they don't have gaming mode anymore and they are good but without gaming mode they have less selling point and for not much more you can just get get the gt1 plus or the gt1 xr with much better chip that if you haven't know like what is this qcc 3020 chip you can check out i have a video explaining about that just type on what is qcc 3020 I, hopefully it will be on top of your search and uh i'm a ghost here uh sound Pete's, and i agree with flame here in his opinion plus is better so yeah i do agree with him even though the gt1 pro has bigger case the plus is just better okay sound Pete's has been great and absolutely i i do agree with that they they know what it takes to make a great product and that's just awesome okay uh neha nefasio here evencio sorry <laughs> Nihan, I'll, I'll just call you Nihan. Random question. Do you think the iPhone XR will still be worth it next year? Uh, if the price drops more, like let's say you're from Indonesia, right? So 5 million. 
let's say what how much is five million five million five one oh no 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 idr so that's about 340 us dollars if the iphone xr comes in below that next year i would say give it a go yeah give it a go if the price i think that's lower than the iphone se indonesia right so yeah because i bought for my mom this year i think in the beginning of the year and i bought it for seven million which is about one two three okay uh, idr which is 473 us dollars great purchase <laughs> 128 gigs by the way okay i um oh yeah <laughs> uh, i agree with Lewis here um as a fellow game ski watch <laughs> a viewer here um okay or will a new iphone be more worth it what new iphone are you talking about and actually in this event if we see any new iphone that is very compelling and it has like that much better features wise i i might think different i mean my opinion might change <laughs> but so we'll see i am not keeping my hopes up on anything i don't i try my best not to watch any rumors but um yeah i mean leaks are just the leaks and i try my best to keep my excitement up for any event like this even though last month's event let me down <laughs> but not for the airpit here it was pretty awesome anyway uh say hi from jogja hey <laughs> jogja <laughs> exactly after watching your channel youtube recommended me game ski of course yeah i mean he'll be everywhere he's like kind of the biggest chuas earbuds reviewer channel i think so far um and there are also some great uh channels as well uh, I've been watching Sean Talks Tech, STT. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Sean Talks Tech, you should go and subscribe to him as well. And also Peaky Audio from Australia. He's also like, uh, he explains really well on the part that I can't explain well, which is the music genres. Like, I mean, he's got a freaking part just explaining about genres and subgenres. That's so amazing. Uh, for me, I just say like if an earbud sound awesome and my music sounds awesome on it, uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> but I'm not really that critical in the sound quality, but I do am critical. I, I mean, I do criticize on, you know, the user experience, the chips and all the things that makes like a machine tick. Like uh, that's where I'm interested at. Okay, um, moving on here. Einstein Massinor, Massinor, am I saying their name correct? I'm sorry here. Can you recommend a budget on ear through us earbuds? Oh, sorry. Um, unfortunately, wait. On ear through us earbuds? Is there any like on ear? Because on ear is like this. So, uh, on oh O is just beside I. So in ear through us earbuds, I assume. So in ear through us earbuds, go check out like my eleven eleven. And now I changed the name already to 11.11 recommendations video. Uh, Sound Pete's are there. U Green is also there. Tranya, they're good stuff. Go check that video out if you haven't. Okay, Aussie here. Hey, <laughs> I ordered some 2CC3040 headphones. Huh? Oh, the new Sound Pete's True Air 2. Oh my goodness. I really want to try that too. <sighs> Honestly, that will be great. I tell you right now. Uh, the QC3040, one of the big advantage it has is true wireless mirroring. So no matter what earbuds you want to use, you can just pick it and it will pair under the same name to your ear, uh, to your phone, sorry. And it, yeah, it will be just great. I hope you like it. <laughs> and I hope I can review it soon. Okay, Soundpeats are mostly related QCY products selling on Amazon. Hmm, really interesting. Okay, what is your most popular review for now? Until now, I haven't had any video breakout anymore. Oh, I am so lost in the live chat here. I need to go faster. <laughs> anyway, um, my most popular review has been the, still, I think that thing, what was it called again? Halo GT1 versus Redmi Air Dots S. 400 plus, 400,000 plus 
uh, views. Um, I mean, that's the first time I was like, I didn't expect this video. I didn't have any expectation, actually. I was just like, okay, I, uh, I'm i too lazy to review the Airdots S by itself. So let me just compare it to the Halo GT1, right? And then everyone just watched it. And Retube recommends it. And it was like one of the best videos so far. I haven't had any video that crossed the 100 thousand views anymore since then but i hope i do <laughs> I, I don't know i'm not getting my hopes up but i try my best on every video that i produce so yeah <laughs> okay anyway julia kosnati hey um we've got one of my friend here came by thank you so much for coming <laughs> muhammad sufyan uh kenneth hi as in my country we don't have amazon or ebay so do i so Redmi Air Dots S aren't available. What could we buy as an alternative? So um, first of all, you have to give me your options. Probably thoughts on Halo GT1 Plus and T6. I hope those are available in your country. And these are great earbuds. According to your needs, do you want something that has ear hooks and you want and you exercise a lot? Then get the QCY T6. Or actually, it's a better purchase than the GT1 Plus, uh, considering that even though the QSY T6 comes in at a bit more price than a bit more price, what am I saying? Anyway, GT1 than the GT1 Plus, the QSY T6 has just like better overall user experience compared to Halo, except that Halo has the edge on the chip, which is you know MPTX QCC3020. By the way, hey from Malaysia there, I think this one from like before when I shout out to Malaysia. Okay, bus, what is the best noise cancelling budget earphones in the market? Mm. Currently, I haven't reviewed much, but uh, some earbuds like this one, this one, which I'm using right now, actually, uh, this is not a clone, but they work together with Edifier. This one is Earfun Air Pro, and it costs like later in my review, it costs like $60 or something, 63 or something, which is a steal for an earbuds as good as this so you should wait for that review later on <laughs> anyway um let's move on uh this question is for francisca are you tech savvy too <laughs> nah i think he's uh, like I, I don't think francisca is here though by the way oh oh she's here <laughs> okay so the question's answered Burhan, yeah, man. So I guess I'm stuck with my trusty earpods plus dongle. <laughs> okay, yeah, just just use it. Um, save up. It's uh, it's the time where you need like to save up more than ever, right? It's like a COVID time. I mean, okay, Bryant. Uh, what made you stay in Apple's ecosystem? First of all, is the I don't know. I I I don't think there's any specific reason other than i'm comfortable on it because you know first things first is airdrop no one's gonna like deny that it's very useful in my opinion i think um yes android has come up with its own airdrop now which is called nearby share and that is awesome because google can like push it to so many devices uh, because they are not part of the OS, but it's kind of part of like the Google whatever thing that's inside that can be updated through the Play Store. So that's really great. But one thing that I realize is not much people are actually using it. Maybe they are not used to it yet, or maybe the nearby share, if AirDrop, right? You know that it's like it's got a section on it just for AirDrop. So you know that, you know, AirDrop is here. You can just tap on it and the person beside you will receive it. But on the Air, um, on the Android, nearby share is just like another app in your share page, which is usually like half a ton of other apps there. So it's kind of like uh, how do you call it? Like it's 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 drowned. It's not drowned. Can someone help me? But <laughs> it's like kind of it's stuck there, unseen and not many people notice it for nearby share that is and the other thing is to the laptop transferring footages from my phone to my laptop 
uh, it's it's so convenient and I just love it and that's saying one thing uh, and there's so much more to talk about but it's just like I love the consistency and the privacy like things they've been pushing these days uh, stuff like that it's just like that makes me comfortable being there you know and also maybe like one more thing is the quality of the apps in the app store and you know i use the ipad a lot i have uh the first generation ipad pro use it with the apple pencil and it got through it i mean it it's my main computer when i was taking notes in my it's not college university and it's been priceless i cannot do like the same note taking with my phone or my laptop or any other android tablet so yeah that's just great in my opinion that's what kept me on the apple's ecosystem um and the thing is you don't have to have the latest and greatest for it because usually when a feature works and uh, what am i saying but anyway it's just like it also ties in with also their software upgrade which is like if you buy a phone right now you can expect it to be always updated until five or even heck six years to come which is just amazing to that <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um despite saying so i mean i'm open to anything i i do build a pc myself um, a couple years back and I've been keeping my eyes on like some Windows laptops some uh, like um, Android phones as well so yeah I do love all of these stuff everything technology actually so it's it's just it's it just happens to be that I'm using Apple ecosystem right now as my main computing device okay oh my goodness I am so so deep into the live chat now let me just try to breeze through this very quickly okay i uh, just wanted help my dad asked me what trust earbuds he get under 20 mainly for calling so for calling yes you can get qcyt5 or uh, because the qcyt5 is in ear so whenever you talk you will hear more of your own voice through bone conduction so i would suggest getting something like qcyt7 instead uh, because it's also great so go check that qcyt7 out uh, M. Adil, hello, hello there, <laughs> hell, sorry, hello there, <laughs> Mr. D. It got 120 hertz. What got 120 hertz? Anyway, let's move on. Rosalind Chitra, what about making a new segment called Francisca Favorites? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> because her opinion and mine are like way, way different. I would. Uh, I want to say bread and butter there like it's way different but it goes well together <laughs> i'm sorry just just yeah skip skip <laughs> i know hello is here picky audio i know very detailed reviews and it's just he's just amazing so if you guys watching if, i mean if you guys haven't subscribed to him yet go just go subscribe <laughs> Okay, I have to school tomorrow. Yep, um, have a good rest, Nihan. Although I might be like 15 minutes late to the comments already. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, it's totally fine. I agree with the deal here. It's fine, Francisca. Um, one thing I can say is practice a lot. And practice makes perfect, right? That's what everyone says. Okay, um, Uzair Zarik. So, Halo GT1 Pro. I hope that you are getting the one with gaming mode, or else the latency will be a little bit like you can notice it a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's move on now. Uh, I really appreciate what you're doing. Yeah, thank you so much, Prodigy94. Looking forward to Apple's live stream. I ah, oh from, I cannot say this country, but thank you so much for coming, <laughs> Naruto-san. A lot of true wise earbuds don't sound as loud as IEMs. Oh yeah, um, I mean that's a thing of because the limitation of the power itself, right? Because it's running off of battery, 
uh, when as opposed to plugging into your phone and the phone acts as the power supply. Um, so far, the loudest one has been like uh, Sabbat, Empow, KZZ1. Sound P2 Shift 2 is also pretty loud. Uh, yeah, most of the more expensive, like above 30, above 40 options are pretty loud actually. Unless I mention that it's not loud enough in the review. Oh, Muhammad Sufyan, Realme Buds Q are 45 bucks? No, don't get it. Don't you ever dare touch that thing. 45 bucks. I even question it at 27. My goodness. Oh, uh, yeah. The airdrop, the nearby share thing. Uh, it, yeah, people just aren't used to it yet. It suddenly appeared at nearby share, but like they don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, will Kenneth let me join? Of course. If you, I mean, uh, if we want to make an unboxing together, then I mean, let's just do an unboxing together. But <laughs> but, but don't just crash in when I'm when I'm unboxing something by myself. <laughs> Okay, why am I not reviewing neckband? I, mean, I hope like neckband earbuds, right? That's because I have my hands full already with all these two wireless earbuds. Uh, so I cannot, I just can't review more stuff. But hopefully I can review more in the future, really. I honestly do hope so. It's a lot to make the script and unboxing and then like record a script, record the B-rolls, edit everything together, make the thumbnails, make the you know links for many different regions and stuff like that. It's just Yeah. It's just like uh it, it takes quite a lot of time. Uh and Actually, like lately, I've been trying to keep up with this two, two videos per week time schedule. And yeah, I'll try to just, you know, keep at it. Tuesday, Saturday. All right. Mm, let's move on. What else? Which ANC headphones under 100 do you recommend? Okay, so uh, I'll just put a timestamp here. So let's talk before like eight more minutes until the live stream, right? So let's talk a little bit about this thing by Earfun. So actually this thing looks exactly the same as the Edifier NB2, but that's not because it is a, like a fake or a, like a copy or something like that. It's because Edifier and Earfun are working together and they develop like the Edifier tuned the sound and Earfun gives out their ANC technology to you know, have this collaboration together. So that's why you have ANC and great sound in this thing. And uh, at, while Edifier priced it at a hundred bucks, Earfun priced it at 80 bucks. Yes, it doesn't, what are the differences then? The first one is this one doesn't have gaming mode, uh, but it's pretty good. I tested it, I recorded the latency test already. Uh, and the next one is it doesn't have like touch control. So it's like the vibration one. So you just tap on it anywhere and it will uh, like uh, trigger, you know, something that you like, maybe next song, trigger ANC, stuff like that. And so far I've been using this, no such thing as like a disaster from Halo T15, T19 that has happened. So the touch sensitivity, the vibration sensitivity is so good. And also it does have that wear detection sensor, the ANC is <laughs> Sorry, the ANC is just great. Ambient sound is also great. It's just amazing to see. This one will be released in mid October. So, just uh, I'll try to make my review up at that time. So, yeah, uh, there will be a discount code. So, you can just get it for just like 63 bucks or something, which is a total steal in my opinion. It's just so good. Okay. Um, actually four more minutes until the live stream so I should start my uh, browser here real quick to watch it actually it's already ready so yeah get yourselves a cup of tea a cup of water or something like that get yourself hydrated and uh, because the scream this the scream the stream is going to 
start soon. But bear in mind again, I will not put any of Apple's live stream video nor audio here in my live stream because I've had problems with my previous, you know, basically every live stream ever that I do to watch this together. Uh, I got copyrighted, I get copy strike, stuff like that. So if you have a free device, go watch it with that device and we can talk together and react to it in this one uh, live stream here. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. So which ANC headphones under, oh, I told and talked about that already. QSUIT8 or QSUIT7, I don't know what is the difference, honestly. Um, I think like maybe it's just a design difference. I really don't know. Uh, seriously, <laughs> I'm sorry. So I haven't tried the T8 yet, but I know that the T7 is amazing for the price. Okay, try doing a video on Brent Infinix. Mm, okay, I'll see what I can do. Um, hey, hi. <laughs> hi from Kazakhstan. Hey, uh, to everyone from around the world, thank you so much for coming into this stream. Really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Okay, five more minutes until the um, live stream, yeah? Oh, Samuel is here. Hey there, we just played Genshin together. Oh no, we didn't play Genshin together, we played Apex together, don't we? Okay, thoughts on the pineapple on pizza? Oh, I love it. I, I seriously love it um, for me. I do love that like crunchy, it's a little bit crunchy sometimes, and sweet and soury flavor on top of pizza. I love it. What do you guys think about pineapple on pizza? <laughs> That's a really nice question right there, actually. Hi, Hatun. I hope I'm saying your name right. I, I really do hope. Um, and Uzair Zarek here. I watch your review about the GT1 Pro and compared to other reviewer, I guess noise cancelling is about 0.5 seconds slow. Uh, what do you mean about noise cancelling here? Mm, and why are here only 41 guys? <laughs> No, it's okay. Like usually my live stream are like this, you know, 30, 40, uh, maybe max 70 when like I put the live stream together here, but it's all right. Uh, I mean, I'm totally fine with it. It's just, I just want to have uh, some time to chat with you guys and I hope you guys appreciate me doing this. I, I don't know, like let me know in live chat. Okay, the new Apple slogan, Apple for life, it's insane. No. Who made that slogan? Seriously, no. At first they took my kidney, now they want my life. <sighs> Man, I mean, phones nowadays do a lot more. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Got some water in my throat there. Okay, so phones nowadays do a lot more, a ton. Like even your phone can be your sole device to do work on it. And for most people, it's their only computer. And I, uh, I mean, I can understand somehow why phones cost as much as it is. And eventually they will cost less in the coming years anyway, right? So that's also a good like way to look at it and of course you know like all the installments plans and carrier subsidies stuff like that i think that also helps right oh okay two more minutes and it is playing already it is playing already woo 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 all right cool one second one second but where is this coming from where's this coming from one second okay Okay, I gotta put this one in picture on picture. Cool. All right, that's cool. <laughs> okay, what else here? Um, Syed Danish. By the way, Rosalind Chitra and Francisca Angela and so many others are having a chat together. Thank you for having a fun time. It's it, I'm really happy seeing you guys like having a fun chat here. <laughs> okay, do you plan to review budget wired earphones such as IEMs? Uh, unfortunately, it, at the moment, I don't think I will review IEMs um, just because I, 
I, I don't think I will I can't find a slot to review them uh, even nowadays when I want to review something like note 20 ultra for example even when I want to put an unboxing like an unboxing video or something that I like maybe the Durgat keyboard here uh, I, I, would, I would like delay my schedule so much and yeah like the end it ended up delaying all the other reviews that I've planned like the U Green High Tune, Transmart Apollo Bolt which I, did re which I just released that's why that came so late because I want to make time to upload these stuff and I review and if I review more stuff like IEMs in the future it's it'll be pretty hard honestly so that's why okay uh, anyway this it's it's time already wow time flies so fast and let's see I really do hope that this Mac rumors will live tweet about the event I don't think it does work though See, I don't know can I put this on auto refresh or something like that no just hmm. <laughs> 10 minutes to go oh yeah it it does actually work the live tweet but no I don't think it auto refreshes. No, it's just I don't want that. Oh. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah. By the way, thanks for joining the live stream, Quan Popo. Live stream has started now, so let's just watch it. If you guys are watching, try to grab another device and watch it together with me. So yeah, you know we can have a chat and react to all the things announced in this event excited for the next wireless charger oh yeah by the way i don't know if you guys are watching oh yeah bye francisca thank you so much for coming thank you so much for every one of you coming if you want to sleep or you know do whatever stuff you can or if you want to see me reacting to the Apple event, then you're welcome to watch me as well. <laughs> okay, so as always, Apple Park. Is this called Apple Park again? Um, like the drone view. Awesome. Just as always. Awesome. Tim Cook's on the stage now. Oh yeah, it's called Apple Park. Oh, a recap from last month's event, I guess. Okay, easy to use from setup until you interact. Are you talking about HomePod right now? Wow! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Ho ho ho! HomePod! I've been wanting to... Sorry for this. A new HomePod? Come on! I really have been wanting to like buy the HomePod for a long, long while now, but I haven't. 
I have never saved up enough. But now HomePod Mini. How, how, how D, come on. That is gonna be awesome. Okay. I know, right? It's so tiny. It's so lovely. And there's an even tinier home. <laughs> Perfect for your home. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. So amazing sound, intelligent assistant, and smart home, yeah. Oh, sorry for that. Sorry for the interruption, I was trying to add like a live tweet. Created a full range dynamic driver again. They're at it again, guys. Oh, and passive ray years. Yeah, cool. Oh, okay. So it's just one speaker firing downwards. Oh, and they're not using Apple iPhone chips again. They use Apple Watch chips. All these talks is so Apple. <laughs> I would love to hear it one day or as soon as possible. Wow, you just put two in the same room and no setting required to be stereo pair. Ah. What is this handoff? Okay. It's got something to do with UWB. Oh, what the hell that's so cool you just get close to it and you just like the music just transfers like that that's kind of my dream since years ago okay so that's all radios they still don't open the home pod to spotify but but everything other than spotify is there pandora amazon music it's so cool No, it uh if you say it was if you set up the HomePod under the same account, they will pair automatically. But your neighbor your neighbor won't definitely use the same account as you do, right? And yeah, like Apple Music and Spotify are kind of like you know, the big the giants, right? So I'm not, I don't know. Until miracle happens, I think Apple HomePod will keep away from Spotify, I guess. Okay. 
sure about this. Oh, so now HomePods can just, oh yeah, I absolutely love that, you know, like asking Siri to play my favorites mix, that's one of the things that I do daily. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so they're talking about, um, what is this now? Like the home integration with the home security things. I mean, internet of things in the home. <laughs> if, if Apple is an, just end the stream after HomePod Mini, it's just, <laughs> I can't, I don't know. <sighs> what the intercom? <laughs> this is like <laughs> Oh my god, intercom? With AirPods? Hi, by the way, TBH. <laughs> it's crazy. You can transfer an intercom message from your car? What? I just hope this will be affordable, honestly. It's so cool. I just love AirPods. I mean, sorry, HomePod. Wait, I need to follow this guy. Cool. 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 All these privacy talks, like they're still automatic. They detect your phone if it's in the house or not. But they still want to let you know that they, like, they do take these things. <gasps> what the? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna buy one. Francisco, wait for it. I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> 99! What do you think about 99 bucks for the HomePod Mini, guys? What on earth? And these transitions, though, are next level. Seriously, how come, like, a... Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it's that time again. This is the iPhone. Oh, cool. Insane.
Okay, 5G, yeah, it's just like kind of taken from granted now. Even though Indonesia will probably get it in like... Okay, I'm back. Sorry for losing the stream there. But anyway, you know, uh, Apple is talking with, uh, talking about 5G right now. I guess I should just, you know, you know how to make this like live re-updating by itself, the tweet. Okay. Tim Cook is just explaining about what are the benefits of 5G that I will get in like five years. So thanks. Okay. Anyway, all these 5G talk, mm, it's okay. By the way, Muhammad Sofian, oh, you retracted your message. But anyway, what phone, like what iPhone did you use before? Uh, and what OnePlus did you upgrade it to? I mean, I love OnePlus too. So yeah, I've been, I've been keeping my eyes in them ever since they released their first phone. I loved it. Oh, hey there. Thanks for joining the live stream. Okay, four gigabits per second on ideal conditions, 5G download. I, I, I just can't imagine how fast it would be. But 200 Mbps for upgrade uh, for upload. And that's pretty good. I mean, how much would you pay for it though? Oh, from seven plus to five T. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I actually, um, I do have like a iPhone seven plus right there for my mom. <laughs> so yeah. I hope you're enjoying your one plus five T even though until now. Yeah. I need to keep on refreshing this thing, unfortunately. Not sure if that'll be good. Mm, I, by the way, do you guys watch sports? Because I don't, so I, I really cannot relate to all these, like, seven cameras live sport action viewing thing um yeah <laughs> and also they're, they're explaining about latency here which is pretty important for real-time gamings as we do have problems with latency uh usually like nowadays on online games anyone plays genshin impact <laughs> Yeah, all the 5G in the US. Unfortunately, I'm not in the US and all of us. You switch from iPhone 8 Plus to one plus seven or oh, one plus seven Pro. Oh yeah, that's seven Pro is though one of the latest one, right? With like the pop-up camera, frown camera at the back, 
an 865 Snapdragon 865. Oh, that, that's just really good. Oh, oh, you switched to Nord. Yeah. Unfortunately, OnePlus is not that available in my country. So, yeah. Mm, I see. That's why, like... Okay. The very first iPhone with 5... Sorry. Okay, the very first iPhone with 5G now. And yeah, I can... Okay. I've never been to a stadium before. That's why I cannot relate to that. Uh, what Logan GT said, but... <gasps> New iPhones look like the old days. And new colors that's so cool oh <gasps> okay okay i actually <sighs> oh yeah millimeter wave like even when you block it just like that it just disappears that's just insane all right it's time for iphone 12. Okay, I guess they're gonna announce the lower end iPhone 12 first. Then, at the end, they mentioned this like a pro iPhone for the ones who want the best of the best, something like that. At the end, okay, so what's new on the iPhone 12 here? That's what I'm curious about. I don't really care about the outside design, whatever. Uh, okay, all new antennas. Black, white, red. Ah, the green is still there, but gone are the purple color. Comes in the new dark blue color. Hmm. Ooh. It still manages to be thinner and smaller and lighter than the iPhone 11. Oh, iPhone 11 was the one with LCD, so. <laughs> now it's Super Retina XDR. Or, or it has been the Super Retina XDR for the time being. I mean, for the 11 Pro. I'm not sure. They call it Super Retina XDR. <laughs> I mean... It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But it's good if the cheaper iPhones. Yeah. But it's good that the cheaper iPhones now have OLEDs. So what will be the differentiating factor to the Pro models? Hmm. HDR content. I love it. Oh yeah, everything are supported. HLG, HDR10, Dolby Vision, that's really cool. Okay, what is this about durability? So it's not Gorilla Glass Victus anymore. It's a ceramic shield. <laughs> what on earth? Wow. It's insane. I would love to see iPhone drop test in the coming weeks. They're definitely going to do that. And wow. Four times better drop performance. Um, how much do I think this iPhone 12 costs? I would, I would put my money on 700 
for the cheapest model. I hope it will be 128. I'm not sure because they added 5G here. So maybe 700 for 64 gigabytes. I hope it's not 64 gigabytes, please. Oh, what room is this? Okay, so we are going into a spiky room. Oh, this is like, oh, the wireless treatment room. custom 5G antennas and the most 5G bands of any smartphone usually 5G right like they become big and bulky the chip takes takes up more space and it runs hotter uses more energy it's like the worst of the worst um but see if Apple can do it better actually I mean even though I won't be able to use it Smart data mode. How come there are like 70 viewers now? It was like 16 before. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, by the way. I don't, I don't know if there are really 70 of you. Wow. At this point, I know, you know what? Like they're just showing off what they're product development is like what how how good they're oh there are some chinese chinese like carriers there as well so when i come back to china maybe i can use 5g <laughs> high refresh rate i i know right the viewers how how come like wow thank you so much for coming by the way oh 3.5 gigabit per second download speeds there maximum that's nice High refresh rate, I'm not sure, um, because it just drains so much on the battery. But let's see, maybe, or maybe you're answering my question, maybe what's the differentiating factor of the normal iPhone 12 to the 12 Pro? Oh yeah. Maybe it'll be the high refresh rate screen. Yeah, so it's four gigabytes down and one gigabyte up. Gigabit, not byte. Okay, so this is it, the performance. This is what intrigues me the most. <laughs> okay, it uses A14 Bionic, just the same as the iPad Air. So what I'm interested in right now is how it compares to the A13 because when you wow you can use it to open doors now please there you go what is this room that looks so dang cool 100 viewers now what <laughs> i mean thank you so much for coming thank you so much for coming i I, 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 I don't know, I'm speechless right now. Okay, anyway, they're talking about the chip, A14 Bionic. I think it's a more in-depth look of the A14. Uh, the last time they just briefly talk about it, not briefly, in the iPad Air reveal, right? Yeah, so it's the same as A13. It's a marginal marginal increase out oh, on any other smartphone chip, but any compared to the A13, it's supposed to be like 10 20% max faster. It's not that much faster because the CPUs are basically the same, 6 cores, too big for small. Uh the GPU is also like not much improved. But the only thing that's way better is the neural engine there because it's up from 8 to 12 core here.
yeah 80 percent faster but i think that's compared to the a13 there wow by the way thank you so much for all of you guys tuning into the live stream here i there's a lot of you <laughs> i've never had this much viewers before uh let me know if you are i mean if you want to talk about anything just let me know in the live chat and i'm okay as you can see right here this is super cool it enables console quality games okay okay what are the games and it's spoiled already on this tweet no actually my brother plays league of legends but i don't i i just yeah this is it league of legends world rift actually my brother is already testing the app uh, he's been playing it with his friend. Hiya. <laughs> okay. I mean, does it look like a. Does, does it. Anyway. All right, League of Legends. Does it look like a triple A game? That's like kind of my question here. Uh, maybe they're not talking about triple A games, but console quality games was just like this. Oh, hello again, Adil. Thank you so much, by the way. Sorry for missing the live chat a bit there. Okay, so should we refresh this? I think we've talked about enough about this thing. There you go. League of Legends Wild Rift. Hi, yeah, tied to the desk. That's exactly what I would describe my brother as. <laughs> my, my, my phone's brother. Oh my goodness. I know, right? <laughs> <sighs> okay. League of Legends. Do you play it? I I don't. I play Apex, but it's okay. Move on. Moving on to the camera right now. Uh, pretty interesting stuff here because, yeah, this is like the iPhone 12. Um, the ultra wide camera is not improved at all. Hmm. F1.6. I would be curious how blurry it will be. Mm, cool. So the thing is, uh, more elements are more difficult to put in, to put together, but they result, if done right, they result in a better image with less chromatic aberration, less vignetting. Uh, like basically they redirect the lights just in the right way. They hit their sensor right. And yeah, like, you don't lose too much stuff. Uh, and yeah. And you, whoa, this is, you can see there like this, this photo that is so bright when there's like a terribly, like a super bright sun behind her and it's still well lit. That's amazing. That's something that, I don't know, I, I haven't been able to do for ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good photographer, but anyway. Okay, night mode photos look amazing. Wow. Oh, by the way, Sudan is on YouTube. Uh, Samsung earbuds life. I like it. Galaxy buds life. I will review it in the coming weeks. So yeah, stay tuned. Nobody. <laughs> what is League of Shadows? By the way, is that a pun or something? <laughs> Okay, by the way, um, if the images, if the sensor didn't change, but wow, that looks beautiful. The bokeh is just amazing. And video, of course. 
um, they just keep on improving it, so that's great. This is the iPhone 12, by the way, so yeah. Okay, shot and edited on the iPhone. This is like exactly the thing that you can do with phones nowadays. That looks beautiful. Oh. Uh, it's just, I, I believe that beautiful videos like this is just because they are beautiful in the first place if you see with your own eyes, but to be able to capture it and look beautiful like this, It's amazing. Ah. Uh. Oh, what? How on earth? Like, why are we having so many viewers right now? By the way, um, thank you so much for watching. For all of you guys, first time coming here, um. Actually, like this is, uh, I don't know, maybe this is YouTube algorithm doing its thing, but this I'm reacting to the Apple event right now, but I cannot put any of Apple live stream here because I will get copyright that way. So, whoa, there's a lot of accessories and they are all amazing. So let me just, let me just, let me just check on it. <laughs> this is, this is amazing stuff. Magnetic stuff. MagSafe is back. Oh. MagSafe is back. Anyway, if you are wondering what the hell am I doing, that's because I'm watching the Apple live stream right now. So if you want uh, to, you know, like sync up with me, what am I, know what I'm talking about is about... I mean, go, you have to watch it by yourself. And if you just want to come here to chat, then yeah, uh, I mean, of course, you are welcome. Thank you so much, by the way. Um, and thank you, Adil. <laughs> okay, um, for now, until now, they haven't said anything about air tags yet. But this thing, they included magnets all inside the iPhone itself is amazing. That's the one thing that I've been wanting like for wireless chargers for ever basically uh you know the mophie chargers with the magnets there so it automatically aligns the charger to your phone i bought it and i loved it um and this one now finally they have magnetic accessories and i can see a lot of third-party manufacturers just making accessories for that and it'll be awesome it'll be awesome oh by the way <laughs> yeah okay the the live chats are going alive i think right now and um a charger dock like that that's gonna be amazing yeah i totally agree with feed me humitas here the body looks cool uh, and i've been a fan of the more boxy look and it's cool to see they make a comeback here i honestly i also hope they release air tax because air tax is just the thing that I need. I lose stuff all the time. <laughs> so. Hey, by the way, Naki Mouse, hey. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Thank you so much for coming, yeah? Someone tell Lisa to get off the roof. Oh, by the way, right now they're talking about carbon footprints and stuff like that. Oh, this is like, usually they have a checklist at the end of their iPhone presentation or Mac presentation. So they're doing it this way now. You know, arsenic free, no PVC, beryllium, mercury, blah, blah, blah. So that's all good and stuff. I mean, now you know that when buying these phones, you don't contribute on, you know, creating more waste for the earth. 
I mean, not a problem for people in Indonesia, but yeah, maybe for you guys who care about your earth. I love the earth. <laughs> oh, this guy, oh, this, this lady is called Lisa <laughs> to get off the roof. <laughs> I okay okay now I can relate now sorry sorry oh my goodness ah <laughs> uh, and there you go that's why they're taking time and talking about like all these carbon footprints and what because they are removing the power adapters from every phone I don't know what you will think about it but that box is slim but anyway I'm, i mean i don't really have a problem with it i use my charger basically for ever <laughs> if i change another to another phone i will use that same ipad charger anyway i mean i bought like a 30 watt like it's supposed to be macbook charger or something i use it for my ipad i use it for my phone i use it for every other phone that i'm going to use so i don't really mind you know uh getting no power break in my box but you know this could be something very attacking for you guys i totally understand that what a way to check out chargers right i agree with frank spillman here i i just <laughs> what a way but but fortunately they still give you the cables because the cables these cables are important the only time they give USB-C to lightning cable is on the iPhone 11 Pro, I think. So, yeah, people need more of these cables. <laughs> it needs to be everywhere. By the way, uh, do I know BTS? Um, yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> but I don't listen too much to BTS, but I mean, they're fine. What is this? They're opening like... <laughs> That's a I, iPhone 12 mini. What the? That's so cool. Oh, wow. So it has the footprint of the iPhone 6s. I've used the iPhone 6s for the longest time. And I love the one-handed usage. But now I can have something smaller. Sorry there. And it has bigger screen. I hope this is cheap because I'm gonna buy it I think <laughs> I mean but I do miss 3d touch though if you use 3d touch let me know in the live chat Wow cool very very cool briefcase and briefcase with James Bond theme <laughs> Frank Spillman, I, I uh, thank you so much for your contribution here. You made me laugh a lot. Finally, a worthy successor to the original SE. I know, right? This will be amazing. Okay, so this is like a promo video of the iPhone 12. Cool. Oh, now we can have night mode on the ultra wide, whereas on the previous one, we can't. So that's an improvement there. Everyone says SE was the last best iPhone. Guess they finally listened. I know, right? I know, right? Oh, uh, am I Korean? No, I'm Indonesian actually, but I do listen to K-pop a lot or any Korean good stuff from Korea. <laughs> I really like the size of the mini, but I will, oh yeah, if you are gaming on these phones, then you gotta have at least like the iPhone 12, I think in my opinion. Yeah. What on earth? This guy's hands are so big. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Not keep. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, so there you go. 700 for the mini and 800 for the iPhone 12. Yeah, there you go. There you go. See, like, cellular plants like this help a lot, in my opinion. So you can actually get a phone and use it for like two years or something and pay for it per month. It will be much more palatable like that. I know, right? <laughs> I got it right. Seven ninety nine. Uh, but we don't know the storage yet, so we should see. Hopefully, it's one hundred twenty eight gigabytes. Hopefully, it's one hundred twenty eight gigabytes. Anyway, that pricing that higher pricing will be the same with indonesia as well honestly yep okay so what is this now oh this is the pro this is the pro what's the difference is that like polished stainless steel is that polished stainless steel because that looks amazing the lighting game is just surreal. That looks amazing. Okay. Okay, so he's the um, worldwide marketing guy now. I miss Phil Spencer. Oh, so, sorry. I, <laughs> Phil Spencer, sorry. I miss Phil Sil Schiller. Okay, Pacific Blue is cool and all, but that gold. <laughs> That's like... It's gold. That... Yeah, of course, like the same thing. <gasps> IP68 up to six meters now. They're just upping the game all like which each and every iPhone. That's just crazy. Like phone manufacturers nowadays just settle with 1.5 meters for eight rating because uh, this, the difference between 7 and 8 is 7 is 1 meter and 8 is according to the manufacturer. So Apple, 6 meters now. That's just a drop to the pool. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, 6.7. That's going to be in the note territory now. Cool. Okay, Naki Miles. <laughs> okay, pro performance. What is this? What is different tier? Okay, it's the same A14 chip, so. What's the selling point? Other than the polished look then <laughs> I know right six meters for 30 minutes GoPro lied <laughs> it's insane By the way, is this real student and teacher? I mean, why are you chatting here?
deep fusion on all four cameras i mean i'll go to i'll go back to the stream okay Four X optical zoom range now, so it's not two times anymore. Really? Okay, we're gonna talk more about the uh, camera here. So, Okay, let's see about the camera here. They're really showing off that gold color. Goodness gracious, what the? Let me see, let me. Oh, two and a half times. Oh, so it's only a little bit more zoom than before. Okay, I hope this one is the same unit as they do in the iPhone 12. Okay, I'll be curious to see what how that sensor compares to the 108 megapixels, like those Samsung Sony sensors. But if this one manages to have as good bokeh, but still better in terms of, you know, vignetting, distortion, stuff like that. That would be awesome. That looks big though. This, you can see like the difference between all those three cameras there. This one is just like taking all the space. <laughs> Despite looking the same from the outside, that is. It's almost the same zoom as Win94 scope. <laughs> oh man. By the way, thank you so much for coming and staying. They are like internal gimbal, right? Let's see the test footage and we'll see how you know it looks. And I'm going to refresh this Twitter feed. <laughs> I keep on forgetting to refresh it. What is this? So raw? Whoa, Apple Pro raw. So that you can combine like raw with still has the benefits of the computational imagery that's awesome Wow, okay, so it's like a metadata for each photo. Bye, by the way, Naki, thank you.
like Lightroom, for example. So they have Apple Pro Res for videos and now Pro Raw for photos. That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay, this is like Pro on another level now. That is at dusk. You can see the ultra wide shots being so great. Oh, very, very cool. Exposure time, oh, three seconds. 1200 ISO, but wow, cool. Okay, what are new stuff coming to the iPhone here? Oh, shit. 10 bit also 10 bit is HDR I'm sorry I don't know that but wow 10 bit is like a premium feature even on the cameras and now you can do it in an iPhone okay what is that oh that I've heard about this before it can record Dolby Vision Wow. It is the first camera to record in Dolby Vision. Pro. It's the Pro one. For the first time, I guess. I don't know. Is that Final Cut? Ah, oh, that's Da Vinci. Wow. And the filters look amazing. Now we're watching. Um, by the way, that close-up shot, you can really, you can see some aberration there, but it's still really nice. It looks so good. It looks so good. I'm sorry, I was like too stunned by the, like, I always be like this, you know, right? Like, when you're too focused on something amazing, you're just like, what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I want to know more. What This transition is just, <sighs> it's just crazy. Okay, so it's not just your usual camera. It's not just your usual photos. And now lighter. Well, well, well. Yeah, this room scanning, like the right side one, the one for 
designing a house that is super useful if you work in that field stuff like that that's that's like really like a legit tool and now it's in your phone now which is crazy good Also, the lighter scanner works like the laser autofocus sensor on the Note 20 Ultra now. So, way, way better autofocus. I know, yeah, that, like, I can't believe this. Six times faster autofocus in low light. Because usually they focus with, like, calculating the differences between pixels. That's what the focus pixels are. And then in contrast, they, you know, see the contrast. But contrast is just, like, not very good. But with laser, you can exactly know what and how far your subject is and just focus right on it, which is amazing. You know what? I, I mean, I don't know a lot about this, but I do study medicine and I've seen CT scans and I see computers struggle with it. You know, like the loading takes so much time, scrolling between images, a CT scanner, let's say on your brain, it takes so much time and being able to download it to the phone like that and just scroll it all the way you like. It's just amazing. And yeah, like LiDAR is awesome and all until you build an app for it. Like until you found a use for it, then it becomes something transformative. I think that's like a word. I'm speechless. This year's pro is more pro than ever. And oh, we've got Johnny Ive here. <laughs> the reflection, though. Is this Johnny Ive, though? Minus zero seven, so you can set. Maybe the camera app is improved more. What the hell? The download speed is just so fast. Uh, like maybe the camera app is improved now, so you can adjust the exposure, just like you would on a camera. Plus one, minus one. <laughs> the way they demonstrate the power of the phone, though, is just like. Oh, in one second, what? From night mode portrait and then it becomes augmented reality. Whoa, that's so cool. You attach the phone to the back of your car like that and record a horse. I mean, not a horse, but like horses. And <laughs> So you don't need like cameras and a drone anymore. Just attach your phone in it. 10 bit HDR. Amazing. Oh, yeah. That camera bump looks a little bit more protrude. 
let me protrude like a little bit more oh, this max safe accessories i just oh, I, that's just so good by the way what was i talking about not sure anyway okay that's it that's it folks price is the same no like crazy pr oh and it started at 128 1099 that's absolutely better than no 20 ultra no no let me know if i'm wrong i mean i'm not i don't think i'm wrong but let me know if you do think otherwise Okay, so yeah, of course, um, just like what the rumor said, the Pro will be available sooner and the more like the iPhone for the masses basically are going to be on November and no price changes whatsoever, I think, right? iPhone XR is changed uh, like iPhone XR is changed to the iPhone 11 though, you can see here. 599 oh xr is at 499 and se at 399 great lineup there wow <laughs> i would say the same thing as tim cook wow <laughs> cool Cool. Max safe is cool though. Okay. I think that's pretty much it for the live stream for today. I don't know if Apple will update their website so we can take a look at it a little bit. And HomePod Mini is, oh, I want it so bad. I want it so bad, really. Ha. <sighs> Oh, by the way, Adil, you're a med student as well. Wow. Stay safe and have a great day. Yep, that's it. That wraps it up for the stream, everyone. Um, the stream is actually pretty quick. You know, they don't take two hours anymore. They can just jam pack everything into a one hour um, stream. It's like one hour, 10 minutes there. So that's really great. Um, wow very very cool and, yeah i think uh that's pretty much it it's, wow and um i don't know maybe we should take a look at the uh the pro max will release next week uh october 23rd or something and the iphone 12 will be november 9th and that's if you are on the first batch of uh, like the first batch countries uh, definitely not Indonesia so well <laughs> um, I don't know what do you think about the what about the headphones no they don't release any headphones for now no air tags so that's actually uh, yeah I don't know mm, what do you think about it maybe they will do another November event for the MacBook which is going to be amazing. <laughs> I would look forward to that, but I don't know. Nothing's sure at this point. Um, anything can happen anytime. <laughs> so I don't know. Just, yeah, that's cool. And by the way, what on earth is going on with this live chat here? Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the live stream for today. I won't take a look at the Apple website, um, but 
yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I gotta take a break and go to sleep, I guess. It's a pretty tiring day. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the live stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have like 75 of you coming. Thank you so much. It's been nice talking with you guys. But yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave the live chat right now, yeah? So, see you guys. Bye-bye.